Mr. Midgley, while I pull with my uh, completed trumpet uh, uh, <coughs> astute submarine, HMS Astute, and I've weathered her as you can see. I have got another kit of this to build, so I will be building it later, and he might even replace this one on the plinth, uh, we'll see. But I know for a fact the actual top and bottom mouth actually fits a lot better, so that would be a bit of a saving. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm quite pleased with this one. I mean, I managed to get the windows in. Uh, I actually put perspex in there. You can't see that. I'll give you a close-up later on. There is two little white lines in there, and these lights are red on the stubble side and uh, sort of pool side, sorry, and red green on the stubble side. And but they're actually LED, it look like LED types because when it goes out, you don't see any red element on the photographs. I can see, and just only see white. So that's what I've actually done. So I've actually painted inside and then put some very very thin clear plastic from one of my figure uh, boxes that comes so I cut that up bent it slightly so you give it a curve around the, so it curves and glued it in with um, white glue and or gorilla glue as I call it but um, yeah brilliant it works really well and that's done and I will do it next time also I'll zoom in now I don't know if it's going to come clear again there we Right, if I do that, I don't know if I can turn this way to see better with that lens. Oh, you can, you can see the lens now. If I, oops, I'll just do that. There you go, I think you can see them now. So, there you go. So, I think you can see what I've done there. That, and I'm really happy about the handrails, they really do look the part. And, um, and, and that, I will do that on the next one as well. Um, the periscopes, uh, I've got to do, I might have to touch them up a bit more. No, no, I think they're okay. But the, the green, I actually made a wash out of it because I'm, all the photographs I look, see the actual main mast the front are not a goldy colour. Underneath there may be, but it looks like sort of a greeny goldy colour, so I've done it that way. So I've done it as near as I can for the mast. If I just move this up here, I think you can see what I mean. And I've gone with the colours that I saw on the real sub a bit as well. So, but again, next time I do it, I think I'll spray them the colour I want them in the first place instead of going to buy with a wash. But I might do that again later on because I can actually go back and finish that off again if I want to. But yeah, I'm quite pleased how she's turned out. Weathering looks not too bad, not too heavy. And the other end is the same panels. And so, so, yeah, I'm going to come back out now and see the whole sub. You can see what I mean by the actual way the way she looks. If I turn it slightly that way, there you go. And that really is it. I mean, I did, oh, one thing I forgot to say. If I can zoom in again, sorry about this. There's the shield I put on the front in front of the crew that uh, on the top of the the, the fin or the uh, ponytails I prefer to call it. And I've done that. Now I tr done, tried it and clear it didn't work. And after I'd done that in Photo Edge, I used Photo Edge, cut it and shaped it as well, and got it in position. It weren't until I finished it and I thought to myself, that's lovely, I've, I've done that. I realised there was another way of doing it. <laughs> Using the Photo Edge I just bent there, I could have actually cut out the sections for the clear bits to go in, and that would have been okay. So I might do that on the next one, definitely. And, and I'm going to go back and tidy out those periscopes, and you can see what I mean on there. The wash didn't go completely, but it looked okay at the time. But of course, under, the, under this camera, you can see a lot more more issues with it but yeah I can do that quickly today right then so I'm going to zoom out yep yeah I'm pleased with it apart from those those three periscopes I'm going to go back and revisit them I might even just go over the whole green because that's the way they look that green is about right for it so that's what I'm going to do. So, oh, right, anyway, so that, I think I'm calling that quits. It's got a glass case that goes over this now, so it's quite nice. I'm not on the plinth, as you can see, I've got them on there. So if I do that, turn around, the plinth goes over the top, and it keeps all the dust off, which is really nice. And um, I've got the colour marks on there, and I thought to myself, when I look at it, yeah, that could have been there from when it came out of the sea, so I'm quite happy with that as well. Quite happy with everything, actually, <laughs> as I keep saying. Anyway, so that's the end of the astute build. I'm going to go back and redo those um, periscopes later in the week, um, and that full green as it should be, and um, and call that done. Uh, but my next one, I will spend a bit more time. I'm still going to do what I did with the handrails and the, the actual lights there, but I might put some LEDs in there now, because I might be able to get a couple of LEDs in there to give it a bit of red glow. Might might be too much for it really, but uh, in this scale. But yeah, she looks nice. 
quite pleased with it. Looks nice in the case as well when it's done. But as I said, I've got another one of these now, and I know exactly what I want to do with it. And and another thing with, with the weathering, I wished I'd gone with gloss varnish over it, and then done with weathering, and then put a clear coat over the top. This hasn't had a clear coat over it, but uh, you can see. But uh, it looks all patchy because of uh, perfect weather. I think it would look like that anyway. But uh, anyway, so but, but I will be doing a better job on the next one. But and I know all the pitfalls now, and what I can do up here. I've got to make these wells a bit deeper again, so they've got a bit more there. I have got a one four 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 figure, one stroke one four four, and um, and it looks a bit too big in there. But when you look at the photographs, he might not be. But I want to drop the floor in these bits a bit lower, so that should lower down. And I will have this bit mostly all closed off with just a couple of bits up, like I see in one of the photographs. But one of the periscopes up. So anyway, so that's my end of this build for now. And thank you very much uh, for watching. And uh, as I said, I'm pleased with it. And I suppose that's what most people say that's the main reason. But uh, yep, the, all my hand painted on the top. I don't know if you, oh, you didn't see that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this off. Then I'm going to go hand out. So here we go. Here we go. Going hand out. Sorry about the jumping around. It's going to be down. They're all, all, all that stuff on the top has actually been hand painted, including the yellow sets around the back. So there you go. And there's the, the close up of that bit. Let's go back onto this. And there she is. So now I'm just going to uh, do a about three more videos on me on the next three builds so they're ready for, for to rock and roll when up when we start them so thank you very much for watching happy uh, thanksgiving to all our american friends and i'll see you in the next one happy modeling